Hi. I have been asked by so many what is going on in the community that I'm in. And I, I want to share a little bit about where I am and wh what is going on here. Uh, first of all, uh, I am originally Danish and have been traveling as a nomad for around five years. I've always traveled a lot, but um, as a nomad with no home and no base for around five years. Until I ended in Ahihik, um, where I feel completely at home. And of course it is uh, because of the people mostly, but also the mountains and the lake uh, are very important factors for making me feel at home here. We have a large community of unvaccinated people. It does not matter to me that they are unvaccinated. I am not biased. People can vaccinate or not, whatever they feel is best for them. That is what I would support. I do not support um, trying to change other people's opinion or um, trying to make them see the world in a different way if they don't want to. If they ask me directly, uh, what are you doing? to keep healthy and to avoid to be sick. I will always tell them, but um, I will never try to change someone's um, mind about getting or not getting the vaccine. Anyway, right now to be unvaccinated is kind of being an outsider. Uh, it feels like we are maybe 20% of the population who uh, are unvaccinated and there's a bit of a um, some bullying going on uh, in several countries. It seems there's bullying going on both from the vaccinated and from the governments that we are the cause of the pandemic. I will not go into that um, because that is a political discussion and I'm not interested in political discussions at all. Uh, sorry for my phone going off. Um, I am at Lake Chapala in Mexico. And right now Mexico seems to be like a Noah's Ark for people who want medical freedom, who want to be able to choose what to do with their life. It doesn't mean that we don't have COVID restrictions. In the state that I'm in, Jalisco, the governor has said that uh, he will he will uh, uh, that the businesses here has to mandate uh, masks, and if they do not enforce uh, masks, they will risk being closed on the spot. That means that any business uh, not enforcing the mask mandate can be closed down right there and then. Uh, I never wear a mask if I can avoid it uh, and I always bring it with me and if I am asked could you please take on your mask I will do it of course and I will not argue because it doesn't matter to me um, but of course I uh, my choice is to not wear a mask and then if asked I will just wear it and I will always wear it into stores because I uh, will uh, it's important for me to support the local community. And since the stores risk being closed down, uh, I chose I choose to wear my mask in stores, uh, not because I believe in it, but because I believe in the local businesses and supporting the local businesses. We are, uh, to my knowledge, um, 150, somewhere between 150 and 200 people here in a community of unvaccinated. And in that community, there are many subgroups because, of course, we are, as humans in general, we are very, very different and we have different agendas and different beliefs and different wants and needs. So we have a group that believes in the Great Reset and are preparing for that. We have a group that is more interested in gardening uh, and are working on buying land and becoming self-sufficient growing their own vegetables. We have a large group of people who are spiritual and those people are the ones that I mostly hang, hang out with. And we rarely talk about 
COVID or vaccines or what is going out uh, on in the world, we are more concerned about facilitating joy and peace and calm and love. So we meet once a week and we do events, we do workshops, we uh, sing together, we uh, use our senses, we have fun, we laugh, we educate each other on spirituality and growing as a person. We have meditations every other week, um, which facilitates joy and healing. Um, things that I find are very important these days because no matter who you are, no matter where you are, you can be affected by the fear that is going on in the world, which I consider to be the real pandemic. Uh, so many people are really, really scared and fear for their lives and fear for their loved ones. And, and uh, to deal with that fear, we have to do something together. We have to be together and we have to grow together and laugh together. So uh, Ajijic, the little town in Mexico that I'm in, um, which is spelled A-J-I-J-I-C, um, there is a lot of amazing restaurants. This uh, used to be and is still a huge retirement community for North Americans. So because of that, there's a large number of really amazing restaurants with food from all over the world. And uh, luckily I'm a foodie, so I appreciate that very much. Many of these restaurants have um, live music. So you can, when you come here, you will very quickly meet a lot of people and you will quickly be invited to a lot of things. Normally when I look at my calendar, I always have like two or three events every day going on, hanging out with friends, going to live music or meditations or uh, concerts or uh, some kind of workshop. Um, and uh, I enjoy this very much because I'm such a social person. I also enjoy my own space. <laughs> I need to be introvert to be extrovert. Um, so, for example, tomorrow I'm going to three different concerts. Every concert will be an hour and a half or two, two hours, but I don't want to miss any of it. And then Monday I'll just take the day off and, and hang out by the pool. So with that segue into how the weather is here, mm, the weather here is kind of like spring in Spain. Um, uh, in the summer, we have rainy season, but it rarely rains all day. Mm, I think I've seen it rain all day, maybe three or four days in the four months we have rainy season. Otherwise, it mostly rains in the morning and it's very cozy to lie in bed and wake up and hear the rain. And then around 10, the sun will come out and, and uh, dry it all up and, uh, and we'll have sunshine uh, like any other day. Uh, May is the warmest uh, month of the year and here it can get up to 30 degrees Celsius. Normally it's uh, between 25 and 28 in the summer, uh, which is perfect for me. I love that temperature. In winter, it's still very nice weather. It's 25 during the day, but it gets cold when the sun gets down. So in the winter here, it's actually just like the summer where I come from in Denmark, where it can be really nice and warm during the day. But as soon as the sun goes down, you need a little sweater um, and a pair of shoes. And when I wake up in the morning, I uh, put on a sweater. Not big. <laughs> Some people will probably laugh because it's it may be 16 degrees. And to me, that's really cold. Even though I know I'm from Denmark, I should be, I su I'm supposed to be a Viking and be able to, st to stand the cold. I, I don't. I don't like the cold. To me, any temperatures below 23 degrees Celsius is too cold. <laughs> So, so, <clears throat> so I put on a sweater and some, uh, some loafers, I think they're called, warm slippers, and, uh, and huddle off to the kitchen to have my coffee in the morning and uh, wait for the sun to get up and warm my world. So, so this is what it's like here. So, so when you come here, we have a lot, I just want to say, we have a lot of Canadians coming. Oh, I'll move outside. 
we have a lot of Canadians coming right now. Um, since Canada has become a country where you cannot even travel uh, in the country na uh, nationally without being vaccinated, we have a lot of Canadians coming right now. And many of them leave behind friends and family and houses and businesses, which is really sad. But we are here to greet them and uh, to take good care of them and help them settle in. Uh, but now also other countries are starting to um, to join in and and also come here, um, which we enjoy very much. Everyone is welcome as long as you're kind and uh, get along. With <laughs> you are very welcome. Um, so we have support for unvaccinated people here in uh, in uh, Ahihik. And of course, there are a lot of people here who are vaccinated and who are also really scared and thinks that, that all people should be forced to be vaccinated. Um, there will always be people like that. And what I normally do if I meet people like that is just say, thank you for your opinion. Um, and then go on my way and do my thing. I will not go into a debate with them. Um, I think we are around 30,000. I'm not quite sure of this number, but I think we're around 30,000 people here. Uh, and maybe half of them are uh, retired North Americans, which is uh, amazing and creates a very diverse community. Um, I also hear the public numbers uh, should be that there are 70% of the people in Mexico are vaccinated, but I doubt that that number is true because I meet, I know a lot of Mexicans who have not been vaccinated and who are not going to be vaccinated. Um, I know a lot of people who are working with healthy food and are sharing their recipes online and talking about how we can boost our immune system, you know, how we can uh, facilitate our immune globin, I think it's called, which is the, the part of our immune system that is fighting diseases. Um, so, and this is not just for COVID, this is in general that we want to live a healthy life, a healthy and happy life. Um, most people here are 50 or over. The, com the retirement community is typically 70 and over, but the spiritual community and the people we associate with are around 50 and over. There's not a lot of young people here. And I don't know where other communities in Mexico uh, facilitate younger people. I don't know that. But I know that when, if you come to Mexico, what you should do to try and find the best place for you is to stay away from big cities because the fear is much more noticeable in big cities than in smaller cities, in smaller towns. So if you come here, uh, try to choose smaller towns and go there and maybe stay for a few weeks and feel the atmosphere and see how you feel um, about being there and how you can connect with people when, you, when you're not wearing a mask, for example, uh, who will talk to you, who will look at you weird. So, uh, so right now, um, Mexico seems to, they have no restrictions. Uh, you don't have to have a test to come in, you don't have to have a vaccine to come in, you don't have to have anything to come in. When you travel inside Mexico, there's an app where you have to fill out questions, whether you have a temperature or, or you're sneezing or coughing. And uh, when you fill out that app and you show it in security in the airport, you are allowed through. Um, so there's not a lot of restrictions going on here. And I think that that Mexico is actually one of the only countries where this is possible. And uh, I appreciate that very much. Uh, it seems that Mexico has a history of being a place where um, people who are different and seek refuge can come and get their refuge. <laughs> there's a story, I don't know if it's true, but there's a story going on here about uh, the slaves from... Uh, from um, the southern part of the United States, when they escaped and they came to Mexico, some of the slave owners came here and, and wanted the Mexicans to return their slaves. And the Mexicans replied, there are no slaves here, we are all Mexicans, uh, which is a beautiful story. 
I don't know if it's true, but it's, it, um, it certainly matches my experience of the Mexican people as being very non-biased and very open and welcoming. Um, maybe not so much on the Caribbean, where they are used to tourists and there is a different mentality. But in the small towns that I have been in around Mexico um, in the last year and a half, I have not experienced anything but just a feeling of being welcome and uh, asked to participate in parties and join their families for food and uh, be friends with them. The Mexicans uh, are, in general, a very open and welcoming people. So uh, this um, concludes my little uh, Mexico praise. <laughs> I, I think that um, if you have other questions, let me know. You're very welcome to ask questions, but at least now you know a little bit of what is going on here. And uh, you can make um, your own opinion and see if this is what, what you need. So take care and have fun.